today what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to you about why we don't really need to fear. You know, keep in mind the market has, has gone down substantially for about 18 months. Now today what I'm going to do is to talk to you about the 1400 day cycle. It's something that I've been following for a very long time. Let me go and put these high points in here and I'm going to try and identify for you. These are the three high points. Let's go and identify the low points. Low point was there. Low point was on 18 December 2018. And we're just going to make an assumption that let's say we somewhere there is going to be the next low point. Now, this will actually blow your mind. Now, when you see that, you'll be like me. You're going to go like, oh, I don't fear. It's just a question of riding this market out. Okay, now keep in mind, the market could have turned around a lot of other times. The market could have turned around here. Yeah, it should have gone higher. It could have turned around here. Yeah where the lunar crisis dropped the market further. This thing here, where it didn't go further after 1 November, is just really astonishing, you know, that it actually pulled back there. But now that we have more data, we can now go and have a look at these cycles. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and say, right, on this bottom of this market till the next high, how many days did it take before it reached right there at the top? 1,067 days. That, that's about what it should be. And I'm going to take this one here from this low point of 17 or 18 December is actually low point till the next high point there. And you're going to see that that is about almost, almost exactly the same. Now let's go back and have a look now. That means if this was the low, that low there, and we don't exactly know where that low is yet. It could be that the low is there, that we could go to the next cycle high now, if that is the low. Let's say if we assume a thousand and let's say 66 days, that that high point could be 19 May 2025. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's go and put a vertical line here. Let's go and have a look and see from this top here to the to that top. How many days did it take? Okay, that took about 1,470 68 days. Okay, somewhere around there. Let's go and have a look here from this cycle to the next top. Almost the same. A few days here and there. 1,419, 1,468. This tells us the 1,400 day cycle is going to play out. So if we take that now from that high point to the next high point could be there. So there's two points here. And the other one is the bottom one. Now let's go back to the bottom here. The bottom here shows us till the top. Remember the bottom to the top, 167. There we go, done. From the bottom to the next top, there to there, 1,054, 1,060. Now what we are saying here is that bottom, if we just move it on slightly here. Okay, so if we identify that that can potentially be the high point for the 1,400 day cycle, then we have made the assumption that this actually is the low, that we're already on the low.